What would happen if we woke up tomorrow and found that all the cars on the road had been converted to electric vehicles? It's obvious why environmentalists would celebrate. EVs are better for the environment, emitting no pollutants or greenhouse gases, and producing no noise pollution, much to the delight of your neighbors. It would seem like all the problems regarding global warming would be fixed. You know, only if you conveniently ignore the impact sourcing the raw material has or production of electricity, but that's not a problem we like to focus on. That's someone else's problem. Most of us only care about looking like we care. But wait, there's a catch. All those EVs would need to be charged, and that's where the problem begins. You see, our current infrastructure is not equipped to handle the massive amount of electricity that would be required to charge these millions of EVs on a daily basis. This sudden surge in demand could disrupt the power grid, leading to power outages and blackouts. The consequences of such a disruption would be catastrophic, to say the least. On February 15, 2021, in Texas, a brutal winter storm struck the state, plummeting the temperatures below freezing. Heavy snow and ice blanketed the area, leading to one of the most devastating power grid failures in Texas history. Millions of Texans were left in the dark, without power or heat for days on end. The crisis highlights the potential consequences of a power grid collapse and the need for adequate infrastructure and planning to ensure grid stability. The reasons behind the grid failure are complex and multifaceted. One of the primary causes was Texas power grid's unpreparedness for the extreme weather conditions. You see, unlike many other states, Texas operates on an independent grid system that is not interconnected with other regional power grids, making it vulnerable to external factors. Furthermore, the state relies heavily on natural gas as a primary energy source. The cold temperatures cause natural gas supplies to freeze and compounding the crisis. The impacts of the power grid failure on Texas was significant and far-reaching. Essential services such as water treatment plants were affected, leading to a water crisis as well. Businesses and schools were forced to shut down, causing widespread economic disruptions. The grid failure in Texas highlights exactly the reality of what would happen if we woke up the next morning and found that all the cars on the road were electric. Our power grid would just completely collapse, causing a standstill in all of life as we know it. So what other areas in life would this impact? Communication A sudden loss of electricity would lead to a breakdown of communication systems, resulting in significant communication gap. The most obvious impacts would be on personal communication devices. Mobile phones and internet-based messaging apps have made it so much easier for us to stay in touch regardless of distance. However, if there was no electricity to power the cellular towers and the internet infrastructure, these communication channels would be rather useless. This would make it difficult for individuals to contact their loved ones and friends and to get emergency broadcasts during these times of crisis. Finance Electricity outages would adversely impact financial markets. Without electricity, financial transactions would stop, potentially leading to a global economic collapse. Stock markets would crash and currency exchange rates would fluctuate wildly, causing widespread panic and economic instability. Electricity loss could also impact banking institutions, making it difficult to operate and provide access to cash. This could lead to further economic disruptions. Social unrest The potential for social unrest without electricity cannot be overlooked. Electricity is a critical component of modern life, and its absence would disrupt transportation, communications, and economic activity. As a result, people may struggle to obtain necessities such as food, water, and medical care. This will definitely lead to a situation like we see in a lot of zombie movies. If the quickest solution to mitigate these problems is to halt the production of clean renewable energy and increase the use of carbon-emitting sources of energy, it could have long-term negative consequences for the environment and exacerbate the climate change. Instead, it would be more prudent to focus on developing cutting-edge technologies and energy sources that provide reliable, sustainable, and affordable energy without contributing to climate change. But the problem is, if we woke up tomorrow and all the costs had changed, we of course would not have all the time to focus on developing these cutting-edge technologies and energy sources. So social unrest would definitely be on the menu for that morning. Basically, if you've ever dreamed of a dystopian future, for whatever reason, all we'll have to do is have a coordinated plan where you replace every single EV all at once. That will be the quickest way to catapult us into a dystopian future. Till next time.